Well, hello everyone. Glad you can join us today. Welcome to today's App Growth Point. Um, and I can see that a lot of people started coming in uh, and our virtual room is getting really busy. And I hope you as excited as I am and as Olga is. So before we get started, uh, I'd like to warm up our chat a little bit. Uh, so uh, while other people are joining us, uh, could you please let me know um, where are you from? Where are you currently based? Uh, so please share on chat and uh, we'll take a look uh, at that together. So yeah, I see that the chat is working. So guys, don't be shy, please share where you're watching us today. So, oh, wow. Hi. Hi, Iher. Uh, Iher is from Berlin. Oh, uh, no, he's from Ukraine and uh, he's best in Berlin now. Greetings. Olga is in Boston. Oh, Kate from London. Oh, Barcelona, my favorite city in the world. Amazing. South Africa. Wow, what a global event we are having here today. We are so happy to see you, all of you guys here. And thanks for sharing. And um, please continue writing chat, uh, your countries, your origin countries. Uh, and uh, once again, uh, I'd like to say hello to everyone who is joining us today. We are so happy to have you here at our Split Metrics App Growth Point. My name is Lina Danichik. I'm from Split Metrics. And today here with me is Olga Noha, CMO at Split Metrics. Olga has Hi, also. Lina. Yeah, hi. hi Luna. Hi everyone. Thank you for having me today. So cool to have you here today, Olga. Olga has over 17 years of experience in building and scaling B2B marketing functions for global tech companies to help them grow faster. And currently she helps with metrics and we are all very happy with that. So, uh, and today's topic for our app growth point is driving growth with Apple suggests such as latest market insights, benchmarks, and trends. Uh, now I'll check again. Uh, yeah, I see Germany, India, India. Well, welcome, guys. So um, before we start today's uh, App Growth Point, uh, I'd like uh, to talk about Flow a little bit. We are recording this session, so no worries. Uh, you'll be able to take a look again later. Uh, since we will be sending uh, this recording to all registered users. Uh, so uh, we'll talk through uh, several points covering uh, our recently released uh, Apple Search Ads Search Results Benchmarks report, report uh, that was launched by Split Metrics recently. Uh, we will also answer all your questions, uh, so please don't hesitate to ask us on chat. And uh, in the end, uh, if we have uh, some time, uh, I think we'll also have uh, a short and sweet Q&A session. And in case um, some questions uh, are unanswered, no worries, uh, we will send the answers together with the recording afterwards. So guys, um, I think we are ready to go, ready to start, uh, but before again, uh, before we start, um, I invite you to take part in a short but interesting poll. So I, I'll ask our event team, please launch our first poll for today. Um, oh, thank you so much. Uh, which app category are you running Apple search ads for? Or like you're working uh, with uh, some specific category or several ones, please share, please vote and um, we'll share the results later during our webinar today. So I think we are good to go. Um, Olga, we are here today to discuss key findings of the most recent uh, Apple Search as Benchmarks report released by Split Metrics. Uh, why do we at Split Metrics even publish benchmark reports and how uh, how important uh, is it to be good at using this promising channel? What do you think? 
Thank you, Lena. You know, I'm tempted to uh, give a two word response, absolutely crucial. And uh, now that is the core motivation for us uh, to publish Split Metrics uh, Apple Search as benchmark reports to help UA managers, marketeers, uh, growth professionals succeed with the, uh, Apple Search ads. Let me uh, elaborate uh, on this. Statista tells us that there are over 5.7 million of apps on major app stores. The competition is fierce. Uh, Sensor Tower estimates that by 2026, uh, global consumer spending on uh, premium apps, in-app purchases, and subscription will reach uh, 233 billion uh, across uh, App Store and Google Play, which is 1.8 times higher than uh, five years before that. And uh, out of existing apps, iOS boasts twice as much consumer spending uh, compared to uh, Google Play, according to Sensor Tower data. Uh, any of app publishers would want to get a piece of this multi-billion dollar pie. Uh, so, um, the fact that iOS users tend to uh, make more in-app purchases uh, than Android users increases the uh, competitiveness of uh, the App Store. How can mobile uh, companies beat the competition and succeed in this? Uh, that's one of the aspects that uh, Split Metrics actually helps with. Uh, if you're not uh, familiar with the company, uh, Split Metrics, uh, as an Apple Search Ads uh, partner, helps uh, top mobile companies uh, grow faster by offering them advanced uh, technology for mobile marketing, as well as uh, uh, fully managed agency services. And when such companies turn to uh, split metrics, there are two aspects that uh, they find crucial for their success. One is in-depth mobile growth expertise that they're looking for. And uh, um, two is intelligent and uh, data-driven technology because uh, such companies consider Apple search ads as a critical channel uh, they uh, could neither ignore or be uh, mediocre with. Uh, they know it's crucial to uh, for them to uh, be good at it and uh, find the right partners to consistently help them evolve um, in order to get that uh, piece of the multi-billion dollar pie that uh, I mentioned. Uh, this is a, a high intent ad network with the audience of over a billion active IS um, uh, devices and uh, highest paying users. Uh, that's why it's uh, definitely worth uh, the effort. If you are not good at Apple search ads and uh, um, you are not making the most out of it, you're missing out uh, on a significant amount of high quality traffic to your app and uh, significant growth opportunities. Basically to summarize uh, the uh, response to your initial question uh, with the split metrics, Apple search ads benchmark reports, our goal is to uh, provide the insights that mobile businesses around the globe can leverage to scale Apple search ads faster and easier. Thank you so much, Olga. And I can't buy, but agree because uh, Apple Search Ads is one of the most crucial channels today. Uh, and those who strive for the best results uh, in this channel, they have much higher chances to win the competition. And uh, the stakes are really high, you know. So could you please uh, give us a brief overview of the Apple Search Ads benchmarks reports and what it covers in general? Absolutely. Um, this is the report that we released twice a year uh, for the past several years. Um, to define the benchmarks, uh, we leverage anonymized data of um, uh, mobile companies using uh, the um, Apple search ads via Split Metrics Acquire platform. Um, and of course, we exclude data of uh, companies that uh, opted out of um, uh, this. Uh, for a search results campaign run in July, December 2022, we analyzed 4.5 million of keywords, 1.2 billion of impressions, over a mil 100 million of taps, 71.7 uh, million of downloads, 15 categories, 61 countries. That's a lot. That's um, a big um, uh, work and uh, a lot of um, data. And we see that uh, the findings we came out with uh, 
help thousands of uh, companies download and the report to make the most out of uh, their Apple search ads campaigns. Uh, from the readership stats, I see that the report is valuable for both smaller developers, developers looking to launch their first Apple search ads uh, campaigns, but especially for larger developers looking to efficiently scale this channel. Yeah, thank you so much, Olga. And the numbers are pretty impressive. I think everyone would agree. And um, let's discuss um, optimization and uh, key metrics in particular. What are some of the key metrics that advertisers should pay attention to when analyzing their performance in Apple search ads? And um, which ones are covered in our report? That's a very important question. Thank you, Lina. So in the report, we uh, track um, the key Apple search ads related metrics, including uh, TTR, conversion rates, uh, CPT, uh, CPA. Uh, these metrics, uh, to your point, are uh, very important for our, our customers, and uh, that is what they are looking to improve. Mm, I'll give you an example here of uh, one of our customers. Um, uh, Bubble uh, is a famous uh, leading language learning uh, subscription app with more than 10 millions of uh, active sub subscriptions sold. Uh, Apple search ads uh, has always been an important UA channel for them. However, with the native interface of Apple search ads, it was uh, hard for them to keep track of their uh, KPIs. So after adopting Split Metrics Acquire, um, an Apple search ads automation and optimization platform, Bubble's team was uh, able to improve efficiency and uh, leverage this KPI-based uh, automation. As a result, uh, the app was able to drastically scale the number of downloads um, while improving cost of acquisition, uh, decreasing Apple search ads costs, um, increasing efficiency. Uh, that's a great example of um, uh, how um, all these metrics um, uh, matter and uh, how uh, you can scale them. And, you know, while it's uh, important to track downloads and um, uh, CPA uh, post-install metrics are probably even more crucial and um, they help uh, define ROAS, uh, they um, help uh, drive and define overall efficiency of uh, Apple search ads for business. So that's why uh, building this full, full funnel view is uh, so important. And uh, that's one of the key aspects that uh, customers are using our Apple search ads animation platforms with metrics acquire. Um, and that's what they benefit from. Uh, here's another example of another customer flow key um, that was able to double ROAS with uh, the Apple search ads. Um, flow key um, is an app that redefines the way people learn uh, to play musical instruments. For those who um, play any musical instruments, you know how uh, much effort it takes to learn it. And the uh, flow key here is uh, of um, uh, great help. I wish I had that type of um, an app when I was uh, learning to play um, piano, but um, uh, still. <laughs> so they started using um, the <clears throat> Apple search ads as their um, UA channel early on when uh, it was only available in a few markets like the US, the UK, Australia, Switzerland, Canada. And uh, in a couple of years um, after uh, Apple search ads were, was rolled out in uh, many other locations, Floki uh, team decided to run uh, ads more globally. Um, it uh, pro prompted them to look for a solution to optimize campaign management since this sheer number of campaigns um, they were running uh, was a challenge itself, not to mention uh, the uh, new keyword sets. Uh, that, that's a lot to manage. So uh, the company leveraged with Magic Supplier for that uh, purpose, uh, and uh, um, uh, they optimized their ongoing campaigns as well as uh, seasonal campaigns. And uh, to determine uh, their uh, performance of uh, the acquisition funnel, they focused on end funnel KPIs, uh, including the amount of revenue, events coming uh, in, CPA, costs uh, per goals, and of course, 
through us. So um, with the automation that uh, uh, they were using uh, within the platform, uh, they uh, in a year, uh, they were able to uh, double their roads uh, to increase new downloads by uh, 80% and custom conversion by uh, 200%. Uh, and also for uh, new markets um, uh, like Asia, uh, they increased um, uh, by 900%, uh, all with uh, this automation available with the uh, split metrics acquire. That's also a great uh, result and a great example of what uh, metrics matter when it goes about uh, the success of Apple search ads. Yeah, 100% agree. Thank you for sharing, Olga. And uh, I think these success stories, they clearly demonstrate those impressive results you can achieve with the channel, with Apple Search Ads and with Split Metrics Acquire in particular. So thank you. And, um, you know, uh, there is a lot of information uh, in our industry and uh, on the internet in general on how to work with uh, Apple Search Ads. And I wanted to ask, how can advertisers, mobile developers, and publishers use uh, the Apple Search Ads search results benchmarks report released by Splitmetrics for their Apple Search Ads campaigns? How could they apply this data? Yeah, no, thank you for uh, this question, Lena. Um, we released uh, these reports by Splitmetric uh, to help mobile app developers and uh, marketers stay on top of trends. And uh, we analyzed data and uh, introduced uh, the findings of uh, these reports as they help uh, developers compare their apps' performance against industry benchmark, optimize campaigns, and uh, scale further. So um, the core aspects that um, companies can use in these findings are, are to set realistic goals, to um, improve their Apple search ad uh, performance. Uh, of course, it's uh, always important to uh, stay ahead of um, uh, the competition. And uh, that's how we see uh, some of the organizations are, uh, leverage, uh, are leveraging these findings. And uh, also, now, what I like a lot, uh, what is in the DNA of uh, split metrics uh, as a whole, is to make this uh, data-driven decision about Apple Search Ads uh, strategy. Our uh, UA team uh, in uh, split metrics agency has this approach, and um, uh, instead of um, uh, pure experiments, uh, they rely on data-driven approach as well, and we see um, uh, big success there. So um, that's how um, we know UA managers are uh, leveraging this data. Thank you so much, Olga. I agree, data-driven approach is crucial today for the success in tough competition. And now let's get down to some performance and cost metrics uh, that are covered uh, in the metrics benchmarks report. So um, I think our audience is interested. What are the average TTR and CR conversion rate according to the report? report? And uh, also what are the average CPT and CPA cost metrics? Could you please share? Absolutely. Um, you can see them on the slide here. Um, the TTR is um, 9.93, conversion rate is um, 65.1, uh, CPT 199, and the CPA 321. Uh, Those are averages. Uh, in your specific category and geography, the results can be different. So, uh, but, but uh, again, overall trend is uh, quite encouraging because TTR and CR are growing compared to um, the previous years of uh, 2018, 2021. For uh, CPT, after the sharp increase in 2021 and uh, 2022, the average CPT for Apple search ads, search results campaigns dropped. And uh, it, it now pushed off to continue the um, growth trend, uh, but uh, it might be uh, due to the growing popularity of um, uh, the channel and the comp competition of uh, the channel for this high intent and high quality users that we mentioned in the beginning of uh, our conversation. For uh, CPA after 
uh, peaking in uh, Q4 2021, the average CPA for uh, Apple search ads results campaigns uh, experienced a hard drop in the beginning of 2022. It started to gradually recover uh, during the year, but um, still it's um, um, a good trend compared to um, some previous years. You can uh, look at um, uh, the report itself, uh, and basically we will cover it uh, further today as well, for um, uh, numbers that are not average uh, in the whole, but um, rather specific uh, to your um, to, to your category or geography. Yeah, uh, thank you so much for sharing, Olga. And uh, I see a question on the chat, not a question, um, <laughs> rather a statement from Javier. Uh, I do ASA in the sports category and uh, both CPD and CPA are really high. Well, Javier, this might be due to some reasons Olga has just voiced. Um, I think the competition is really tough and um, no wonder that uh, these cost metrics are growing. Uh, and in case you need some advice on how you could optimize these indicators, uh, lower your cost metrics, uh, please feel free to reach out to us uh, to Spot Metrics. We have our agency and uh, they have uh, great success stories on optimizing these metrics. So don't hesitate to reach out to us. So, and yeah, guys, before we are heading to our next question, uh, I would ask our event team, please share the results of the poll. I bet you all have forgotten already, but I'm not so. Oh, wow, interesting. We have uh, most uh, most of the apps in finance. Awesome. And uh, what can I say? It clearly uh, demonstrates the results uh, of our report. We'll uh, talk about it later. And um, the second spot is um, games. Wow, that's really great. I think games um, in general are versatile and it's an amazing category. And then uh, other. Um, Please write, uh, guys, uh, from other categories we haven't covered, please write your answer on the chat. Um, we would love to know um, with what app categories you are working. And then um, I think education and health and fitness, they share uh, their sport. Um, and then comes food and drinks and entertainment. Thank you so much for taking part in our poll. Really interesting. And, um, you know, um, you know, uh, my next question is related uh, to what we have just discussed. Uh, so, um, Olga, which categories had it the least in terms of these performance indicators we previously discussed? Uh, are there any notable differences uh, in performance and in costs, of course, uh, between different types of apps? For example, gaming, uh, we just mentioned, versus uh, productivity in Apple such as. Um, and uh, probably you've noticed some changes uh, compared to previous to previous versions of this report, uh, previous periods. What do you think? Yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you for this question, Lena. Uh, indeed, we evaluated fifteen um, uh, top industries uh, for uh, each criteria, and uh, the results uh, differ pretty significantly. When I look at the report data uh, by categories, three of them uh, stood out for me, entertainment, food and drinks, and uh, finance. Now look at the uh, TTR and uh, conversion rate for uh, entertainment category. It's significantly ahead of uh, the rest of the competitors as well as it uh, has shown um, strong growth compared to the previous periods. Uh, we asked uh, the experts, not only analyzed the data on our end, but also asked uh, industry experts and uh, Thomas Petit um, uh, believes that uh, these are impressive uh, results from entertainment and uh, that this vertical has uh, big brands, uh, which could be the uh, explanation. And uh, frankly, I cannot agree uh, more. Mm, on the contrary, uh, food and drinks uh, that uh, previously occupied uh, the uh, 
honorable uh, fourth place now move to uh, the lowest spot in the conversion rate uh, rating. Uh, this could be uh, explained by this post-pandemic joy of um, uh, venturing into the world uh, and uh, visiting places instead of uh, ordering food delivery. So yeah, the pandemic uh, changed the landscape significantly, but um, after the pandemic, we see new changes uh, as well. And um, uh, Andrea uh, Raggi from uh, Feature has shared the following comment on uh, these dynamics. So he said, it's really interesting to see these food and drinks uh, related expenses are among the first ones to receive a cut when consumers need to um, be cost cautious. Uh, I um, think this might be of uh, um, consequence of uh, the rampant inflation and the low consumer confidence we've witnessed during the second half of um, 2022 uh, as well. Uh, so that's um, his explanation um, of um, this trend. And uh, um, if we move forward, I mentioned three categories that uh, stood out for me. So um, uh, the, if we move uh, forward um, uh, and look at other metrics, uh, CPT and uh, CPA, uh, there is a third category that uh, draws the attention here. It's finance. And uh, we saw based on the uh, results of the poll that we have a lot of uh, representatives uh, from finance uh, category here. Um, I um, I feel your pain, guys. What what can I say, right? Because finance is um, uh, head in the list once again with the, the cost per tap of uh, 6.54, uh, which has grown almost twice uh, since the first half of the year. Uh, from 3.37. And um, uh, this is more than three times bigger than uh, the average va value um, for the top 15 categories. So if we're talking about uh, fierce competition, finance category feels it uh, more than anybody else. Uh, CPA for finance also doubled sales since the first half of uh, the year, reaching 11.34. Uh, and uh, this is 3.5 times higher than the average CPA for uh, all categories. Um, again, the comment from uh, Andre Reggie uh, in feature is uh, this is uh, uh, kind of a surprising finding. And uh, he um, uh, expected uh, the average CPT to decrease with uh, the bear market in crypto and uh, rising interest rates. Uh, but apparently, uh, some finance app uh, publishers might have cut uh, their investment. And um, uh, this is a strong signal that competition is strong on Apple search ads, uh, where the traffic is uh, high, uh, highly attend driven and available. So yes, uh, the competition is strong. We, we can um, see that and feel that. Uh, thank you so much, Olga. Very interesting. Uh, I think now everyone is intrigued about markets. Uh, we have discussed top categories in terms of performance and uh, cost uh, indicators. And what about Apple Search Ads markets? Uh, are there any markets, any countries and regions uh, where advertisers tend to perform particularly well or particularly poorly uh, in Apple Search Ads? Could you please share some insights? Absolutely. As for the markets, uh, the U.S. Mar uh, is remaining the leader um, with the conversion rate, uh, 66 uh, And uh, in terms of um, uh, CPT, the U.S. also took the lead with the 1.75, proving again to be the most stable country for this indicator. And you know, let me share a case of our customer who was uh, running Apple search ads, leveraging custom product pages on uh, different markets. They were able to achieve great results overall uh, and uh, particularly in the US. Uh, we worked with uh, an app uh, named Violin Lessons by uh, Tanestra. That's a wonderful app. And uh, I uh, know that um, many of uh, kids uh, learning violin 
that's not an easy task, right? So uh, that's a uh, great um, help for uh, them. The app turn to uh, split metrics agency with the request to improve their uh, product page conversion rates and uh, increase user acquisition, scale their business. Uh, they had a very well composed uh, product page uh, illustrating the options for uh, learning to play violin, but uh, the app also had a very interesting feature of uh, violin tuner, um, which helps uh, users to tune their violin uh, really easily for uh, their first lesson. So uh, split metrics experts uh, designed, developed, and launched custom product pages for this feature, violin tuner, uh, in Apple search ads, and the results were astonishing. As I mentioned, uh, overall rate but uh, specifically in the US, TTR increased almost twice. Um, installs grew 2.5 uh, times. The number of uh, the purchases uh, boasted um, uh, 3.75 um, uh, times growth. Uh, in the uh, UK, Ireland, Canada, New Zealand uh, locations, also high growth, uh, but uh, probably um, uh, not as strong in, uh, as in uh, the US. Uh, in those locations, they grew um, in terms of TTR by uh, 1.6 times, installs by uh, 191%, uh, and the number of purchases increased by 40%. This is uh, a great case of uh, how you can grow in different uh, geographies, making the right decisions about um, uh, where to invest. And uh, of course, also a great uh, uh, use case of leverage and custom product pages. Awesome. Thank you, Olga. Uh, yeah, uh, CPP custom product pages, they are really hot topic today. And everyone wants to like join, <laughs> join this feature, try it uh, and um, use it for optimization. And um, I would like to remind our audience that we have recently released uh, a custom product page playbook. So probably the team will share it on chat or reach out to us and we'll share it. Um, I think you'll find it really useful. So now let's move on uh, to the next question. Um, I think really interesting one. Olga, what are some best practices for optimizing Apple such as campaigns? Are there any at all? And could you also provide some tips or, I don't know, strategies for advertisers looking to improve their indicators, their performance metrics like TTR, CR, and also, of course, CPT and CPA, uh, and use our Apple such as uh, benchmarks report uh, for those purposes? Yeah, um, I, I want to once again emphasize uh, why it is important to uh, look for some of the best practices, uh, because the App Store is full of highly motivated users. They uh, come there, spend real money on your app, and uh, Apple Search Ads is basically one of the um, key um, vehicles to um, uh, reach uh, these users. Um, the uh, Apple Search Ads uh, uh, team uh, claims that uh, the conversion rate is normally around uh, 60%. So that shows high uh, intent of these users. When doing our research at Split Metrics, we uh, noticed that uh, for some categories, it can be even higher, uh, up to 79%. Oh my God, um, that's huge potential for um, uh, marketeers uh, to tap into when it comes about Apple search ads. And uh, with the right strategy in place, it's possible to scale your campaigns to drive uh, significant results. Uh, we already shared some of the uh, cases of our customers uh, and how they approach um, the scale in Apple search ads. Uh, in short, uh, here is the successful formula that uh, uh, we suggest and uh, that we know uh, drives great results. Um, the first point here is um, expand your uh, geographies and uh, extend your locations. Because, uh, yes, the report shows uh, the U.S. it's um, one of the most stable markets right now. But um, the case uh, that I shared earlier showed that uh, some new markets uh, like Asia uh, can grow even higher than that. So 900% growth for one of our customers 
on that new market is um, uh, big. So uh, try new geographies and um, locations. Uh, keep um, researching and improving uh, your ASO efforts because, um, again, there is a proven positive impact of uh, your um, Apple search ad campaigns on ASO and vice versa. We shared a lot of uh, such cases um, previously. Um, check uh, the website or uh, request from us um, such uh, success stories uh, we'll be happy to share, but uh, we'll, we saw that with um, multiple of our customers. Uh, make sure that uh, you stay on track with um, keyword relevance. Uh, and of course, uh, run an account health check from uh, time to time. I know that our UA managers are running that on a day daily basis. Um, you can uh, leverage your uh, own uh, approaches, uh, but that's um, crucial. Uh, arm your uh, yourself with the, a third-party uh, integration tool like uh, Split Metrics uh, to um, leverage uh, scaling uh, opportunities that are there. And uh, the um, option number six, the best practice number six, is uh, to make use of another key feature of Apple Search Ads, uh, custom product pages. They really are a game changer. And um, I shared previous case with the Tenestra, with the Violin Tuner, but uh, want to stop on uh, this, on custom product pages even more. Um, these are newer capabilities introduced by um, the App Store at the very end of 2021. So all the cases of uh, leverage in uh, custom product pages are of uh, particular in interest. And I want to share uh, another great um, success story of our customer Pixart. Uh, you probably know them. It's a developer of um, suite of online photo and video editing apps with uh, 150 million monthly active users. And um, they actually adopted um, custom product pages early. They were um, one of those early adopters because uh, they uh, struggled with uh, targeting um, specific audiences and uh, segments with uh, custom messages. Uh, custom messaging uh, and uh, um, with the, the introduction of custom product pages uh, in App Store, Pixart successfully addressed the challenge uh, and got a number of um, additional benefits. So uh, with the help of custom product pages, Pixart were able to achieve the increase of conversion rate by 52%. And you know what it means for an app with 150 million monthly active users. The increase of uh, the number of users entering their free trial by 153%, and they were able to decrease the uh, cost per trial by 50%. Quite impressive, isn't it? For sure, for sure. <laughs> and um, we are moving to wrapping up a bit. And um, I wanted to, to ask you, Olga, um, how often is uh, this report updated and uh, how can advertisers, mobile marketers, our industry peers stay up to date with the latest insights and trends in Apple search ads? Could you please share this data? Absolutely. So uh, we update the report uh, twice a year uh, we um, also um, <clears throat> cover benchmarks for uh, other placements like uh, search tab, for example, or other categories, finance, lifestyle, uh, um, in a separate uh, reports available via uh, split metrics. We are working on an interactive tool um, uh, available on demand uh, to get uh, benchmarks for uh, Apple search ads, but uh, right now uh, you can uh, check the website or uh, download right from uh, these slides our, our two uh, latest reports on uh, reports on Apple search ads, one for the second half of uh, 2022, one for uh, the first half of uh, 2022. Uh, you can uh, find the report on uh, search tab placements. Uh, and uh, you can find the reports by categories, lifestyle, finance apps, mobile gaming, and uh, even dating apps. 
Wow. <laughs> so everyone can look forward to a lot of reports we uh, we are going to deliver soon and uh, we have uh, a few questions on the chat unfortunately they were sent directly uh, to us to organizers uh, but um, I, I think I could um, voice uh, a few of them uh, for example um, we have uh, such a question does running Apple search ads basic together with search as advanced gives more promotional opportunities other than running only advanced. Um, in general, we recommend uh, running Apple such as advanced campaigns, and it seems like uh, it doesn't make much uh, sense combining both. So we would um, advise you to focus on Apple such as advanced uh, since it has tons of benefits. Uh, and if you have uh, more questions, please reach out to us after the webinar and uh, we'll talk about that. Yeah, and uh, Olga, I saw a question also on the chat uh, where uh, someone asked uh, whether we have uh, infographics or something or some benchmarks for specific categories. I, I think someone has already answered, but uh, could you please also? Um, yeah, make, absolutely. Make uh, for um, uh, everyone, uh, here in the call, uh, yeah, we cover, um, in addition to uh, those reports that you saw on the previous slide, we also cover um, uh, four categories with uh, um, more detailed numbers, and uh, th th those are uh, games, entertainment, food and drinks, and travel. We uh, developed uh, one page infographics for uh, these categories. You can either request them from uh, the team uh, with the, the credentials that you have uh, here on the website uh, contact details, or um, also you can uh, check out Splitmetrics Pinterest account for the infographics on uh, entertainment category. Yeah, thank you so much, Olga. And uh, I see another question, just just a second, sorry. I think Anish asked uh, about uh, how important uh, keyword analysis and optimization of keywords. Well, it's like simple, but um, uh, keyword optimization is crucial. And you know that ASO and uh, optimization of uh, your product page uh, is interrelated with the results that uh, Apple search ads could provide and they can um, benefit each other. And uh, by the way, you can watch uh, our another webinar with uh, Apreda where we shared the this synergy that ASO and optimization of keywords and creatives um, create together Apple search ads. Uh, so uh, yeah, um, I believe that now um, the number of not only separate ASO and bad user acquisition uh, teams emerge, but rather like some growth teams uh, that unite uh, ASO and uh, Apple such as professionals. So in short, yes, uh, the keyword analysis and optimization is crucial not only for your organic strategy, but also for the bad one. And um, uh, yeah, so I think now we are running out of time. We have, uh, guys, only uh, a few minutes left. So I'd like to thank all of you guys uh, for participation, for joining us today. Uh, thank you so much, Olga, for answering my questions uh, and sharing a lot of insights. And uh, I hope you guys bring home uh, actionable tips and steps to maximize your Apple Search S performance and strategy this year in 2023. Yeah, thank you, so Lino. Thank you, audience, for um, the, the great questions and uh, for your uh, engagement. Uh, we hope that was helpful. Uh, feel free to uh, download the report or uh, reach out to us for some uh, consultation. We um, are here to help uh, mobile first companies uh, grow, uh, and uh, that's our core motivation. Yeah, thank you. And let, let's keep in touch, reach out to us, uh, add us on LinkedIn, and let's grow uh, mobile businesses together. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Have a good day.